Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to welcome you back to the Wake Up Yasharel channel. Thank you for stopping by. We'd like to welcome you back. All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. I am he who breathes life. Behold the nail hands. His son, Yahushua Yahuwah, is salvation. The Ruach Hakadesh, the set apart spirit, the comforter, the one who leads us in the all truth. Praying that all is well with you and your family. Pray that you will be obedient and that you will accomplish all that the Most High Yahuwah has given you to do. Let us pray. Yahuwah, my prayer and desire is to speak with compassion, power, authority, clarity, conviction, confidence, and be convincing to the hearts, mind, and soul of your people and sojourners all over this world. All I ask Yahuwah is that you anoint this vessel of clay from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name we pray. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. We're so glad to stop by. As I stated earlier, thank you for sitting in on these different meetings and different teachings. We appreciate you giving your time during this Shabbat time to the Wake Up Yasharel channel. There is a word from the Most High on today. I believe that you're going to be blessed. You're going to benefit from this and you're going to gain some knowledge and insight and some clarity into the things that Yah wants us to know. Saints, we go into the book of Isaiah, the 11th chapter, starting at the first verse and the second verse. I'm going to read to you from the King James, but I'm not going to utilize the King James name that they use for the Most High. I'm going to use his name. Then I'm also going to go to the Sefer or the Sefer Bible, the book, and read from it. So I'm going to give you two uh, different readings, KJV and the Sefer. Let's go to KJV first. And there shall come forth a root out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of Yahuwah shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of fear of Yahuwah. I had to read that so you'll understand when I get to the Sefer, it's going to give you the Hebrew names. And then we're going to go back over those names and give you a breakdown of what each one of them mean. Now we're going to go to the Sefer, Isaiah, the 11th chapter, starting at the first verse, going to the second verse. Now, this chapter is dealing with the future prophecy of Yahushua Hamashiach. And it's dealing with the Ruach HaKadosh resting upon him and giving him many qualities that are going to make him stand out above anyone else and how he's going to operate and how he's going to bring all of us back to the knowledge of Yahuwah. His assignment is to do the will of the Father. That's what the Son does to bring esteem to the Father. So we're dealing with the future prophecy of Yahushua Mashiach and the Ruach Haggadah resting upon him. Now there are many that, that say the Son is not real. He's not mentioned in the Torah or the Tanakh, but they are lying, they have not studied, they have not researched, and they have not dug into the prophecies of the Mashiach that's on his way. Now let's get ready to go into the Sefer and read Isaiah 11 verse 1. Isaiah is Yasha Yahu, which is Isaiah 11 and 1, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Yeshaya. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Ruach, Yahuwah, shall rest upon him. The Ruach, Chakma, and Benai. The Ruach, Esa, and Govora. The Ruach, Da'at, and the Yira of Yahu. Saints, be patient as we go through this lesson today. There's going to be a lot of insight, a lot of wisdom and knowledge coming through this lesson. There's going to be a few charts, a few graphs I'm going to use to show you that the Mashiach is real and that Yahuwah had a plan for sending his son on the scene to redeem Yasharel from their sins. No other nation, no other group of people. He was only sent back to save the lost or the scattered sheep of the house of Yasharel. But we're going to show you in these scriptures where you're going to see how the Ruach was upon the Mashiach and how he was led forth it with these great qualities and great characteristics and power. Let's look at a chart that's coming up here. 
he is one of the seven spirits of Yahuwah. But a branch will emerge from the trunk of Yeshaya, dealing with Jesse. A shoot will grow from his roots. Yahshu, Yahu, 11, 1 and 2. That's Isaiah. We just got finished reading that. You see Adonai, wisdom, understanding, counsel, power, knowledge, and fearing Adonai. These are the qualities and characteristics that the Mashiach operated in and still operates in. That Yah wanted us to know that he's given them to identify who his son was. You were going to be able to tell the difference uh, when you met him and knew him and ran and walked into his presence. You were going to know that the Ruach was upon him heavily and how he operated amongst his people when they met him. Notice every time they came in contact with him, you heard words like, what manner of man is this? Who is this? He teaches with power and authority and strong doctrine. He heals all manner of sicknesses and diseases. Can anything great come out of Nazareth? They saw so many different things and demonstrations of his qualities and the power that he operated in. They were blown away by him because he was walking in the fullness of the Ruach HaKadosh. Not half a portion or part, he was walking in the fullness of the Ruach. This is the Ruach Hagadesh operating in the Mashiach in full power, in full quality, in full character. The Ruach was upon him and in him, and not in a measure, but in full capacity, full operation, fully functioning by way of the Ruach Hagadesh. Saints, you have to also remember that Yah deals in numbers. The number four deals with the number creation. The number five deals with the number grace. The number six deals with the number of man. The number seven deals with the number of completion. The number eight deals with new beginnings. The number nine deals with fruitful. So Yah deals in numbers. Some numbers he used more than others. So we're going to use the number seven and show you in the set apart scripture how Yah used the number seven. Watch this. When dealing with the tabernacle and the temple, he had altar sacrifice, the labor bowl, table of showbread, seven candle manure, altar of incense, mercy seat, and ark of the covenant. That's seven. Next you'll see how he deals in creation, starting with the first day of creation, second day of creation, third day of creation, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. And he rested on the seventh day. There it is, seven again. Next you'll see how he lays out the millenniums with the first millennium, the second millennium, the third millennium, the fourth millennium, the fifth, Six and the seventh millennia. I'm going to show you how that number seven is the boss. Then here's another one. Passover, unleavened bread, first fruit, Shavuot, Pentecost, trumpets, atonement, tabernacle. That's seven. Then we're going to deal with what we're reading now. Isaiah 11 chapter tell you how these seven different operations of the Ruach Hakadesh was resting upon the Mashiach. It dealt with the Ruach being there, his strength, his counsel, understanding, knowledge, wisdom, and the fear and reverence of Yahuwah. All of those rested upon him by way of the Ruach HaKadosh. When we're going to go into each one of those different names to show you the depth of those names when they're broken down in the Hebrew. All right, let us read it again. Yeshua Yahu, Isaiah 11, 1, I'm going to read 1 through 3. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Yeshua, Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Remember, he came out of the lineage of King David. David, Jesse is David's father. And the Ruach, Yahuwah, shall rest upon him. Dealing with the Ruach Hagadesh. And the Ruach Chakma. Ruach Chakma is dealing with wisdom. Ruach Banai. That's dealing with understanding. The Ruach Esa. Dealing with the spirit of counsel. Ruach Javora. Dealing with the spirit of might and power. The Ruach Da'at. Dealing with the spirit of knowledge. And the Ruach Yara of Yahu deals with the spirit of reverence and the spirit of fear dealing with Yah. Not the actual spirit of fear like you're being afraid and scared like we deal with man and demons. No, or devils. It's talking about the reverential fear. The, the right type of fear that we need to have when it comes down to Yah. Not fear uh, like we have when dealing with foul spirits and dealing with the fear of the unknown. The third verse said, And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahuwah, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Why? He's led, directed, and governed by the Ruach HaKadosh. Now I'm going to give you a few set apart scriptures to go with each one of these Hebraic terminologies for the Ruach HaKadosh. 
So we got the Ruach Yahuwah, the spirit of Yahuwah. Coming from Genesis 1 and 2, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Ruach of Yahuwah moved upon the face of the water. Now we're going to go to Zechariah 4 and 6. Then he answered and spake, uh, spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of Yahuwah unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Ruach, said Yahuwah to Sibio. Hallelujah. Now we're going to go to the book of Luke 1 and 6 and 7. And his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Ruach Haggadah and prophesied. That's dealing with John the Baptist's father. Hallelujah. John the Baptist, the forerunner of the Mashiach. So his father was full of the Ruach Hakadesh. Next, we're dealing with the Ruach Chakma, dealing with the spirit of wisdom. Coming from the book of Exodus, the 31st chapter and the first verse. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Batsael, the son of Uri, the son of Chura, of the tribe of Yehuda. Third verse, and I have filled him with the Ruach Elohim in wisdom and in understanding and knowledge in all manner of workmanship. Then we go to the book of 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. We're dealing with that Ruach Hakadesh wisdom, the wisdom from the Ruach Hakadesh himself. 1 Corinthians 12 and 8 says, For one is given the spirit of the word of wisdom, to another this word of knowledge by the same spirit. Next, we're going to deal with Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. Next, we're dealing with the Ruach Benai, dealing with the spirit of understanding. Psalms 111 10. The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise and do it forever. Psalms 119 and 34. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy Torah. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Psalms 119 and 73. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding, that I may learn thy commandments. Psalms 119 and 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. Psalms 119 and 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Next is the Ruach Esa, the spirit of counsel. Coming from the book of Isaiah 9 and 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be up on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, El Gabor, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, David, and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish it with judgment, with justice. From henceforth, from even forever, the zeal of Yahuwah Tosivio will perform this. Going to the book of Proverbs 11 and 4. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Proverbs 21 and 31. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of Yahuwah. Dealing with counsel. Proverbs 24 and 6. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. And in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Now we're dealing with the Ruach Javorah. The spirit of might and power. Coming from Zechariah 4 and 6. Then he answered and spoke unto me saying. This is the word of Yahuwah unto Zerubbabel. Saying not by might nor by power. But by my Ruach said Yahuwah to Sibio. Ephesians 6. Verse 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahuwah and in the power of his might. Now we're going to come with the Ruach Da'at, the spirit of knowledge. Coming from the book of Daniel 12 and 4. But you, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the sefer. Even the time of the end, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be what? Increase. Have we not seen that knowledge increase on the day? Proverbs 1 and 7 says, The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1 and 22, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Proverbs 1 and 29, For they that hated knowledge 
and did not choose the fear of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 2 and 5. Then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahuwah and find the knowledge of Yah. Hallelujah. Then we go into the book of Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Don't want any knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you that you shall be no priest to me. Seeing you have forgotten the Torah of Elohim, I will also forget your children. Hallelujah. I don't want that. I want to make sure I go out to Yah and learn everything I need to learn and gain the knowledge of Yah. Next, we're dealing with the Yara of Yahoo, the spirit of fear, awesome reverence. Coming from the book of Proverbs 24 and 21, My son, fear thou Yahuwah and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Proverbs 29 and 25, The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso put it to trust in Yahuwah shall be safe. Ecclesiastes 3 and 14, I know that whatsoever Yahuwah doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And Yahuwah doeth it, that men should fear before him. Ecclesiastes 5 and 7, For in the multitude of dreams, and in many words, there are also diverse vanities. But fear thou, Yahuwah. Ecclesiastes 8 and 12, Though a sinner do evil an hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahuwah, which fear before him. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Elohim, Yahuwah, keep his commandments, but this is the whole duty of man. Look, I'd like to thank y'all for stopping by today, listening to this teaching, dealing with the future prophecy of the Mashiach. You be encouraged, keep moving forward. We love you all. Shabbat Shalom.